Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 28th video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to enable user profile desk with Windows uh, remote desktop services on Windows Server 2019. So user profile desk is a basically a, a solution to manage the centralized location storage for all the users which they are uh, going to log in on a uh, session host servers or a VDI solutions so what they are going to do for example if you have a five session host server in, in your RDS farm you can't restrict which user is going to be logged into which server so you can't restrict like user one is always going to log in on a, a session host one or session host two so whenever user randomly is going to log into any of the RDS session host server so user are going to get an a different different profile on each session host server so 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 for example if if user logged in on session host server 1 and they saved something on desktop or their document or download if they next time they log in and if they get the session on a session host 2 they are not going to get the same profile uh, and they are not going to get their data so uh, to overcome this issue Microsoft introduced user profile desk which we can enable in RDS to get this um, uh, to get the user profile always uh, getting the same profile however uh, they, it does not matter where they are logged in like session host 1 2 or 3 or whatever so uh, this is the solution uh, so we are going to enable the user profile desk in this video so let's get in so here is my demo environment which I am going to use in this video so the first machine is going to be Win2K19 DC01 which is our Active Directory and DNS server so you can see my domain name is vector.infosol.local IP address is 192.168.0.201 so this is my Active Directory and DNS server if I go to local server you can see Win2K19 DC01 so this is my Active Directory server and the second server is going to be our Win2K19 RDS server which is our connect RD connection broker and RD web access server so the IP address is 192.168.0.202 so if I go here IS and remote desktop services is installed on this machine and local server so this is Win2K19 RDS and this is joined in my domain and the IP address is 192.168.0.202 and if I go to remote desktop services and from the overview you can see here so it's going to be uh, like Win2K19 RDS 01 uh, 0 is going to be remote desktop uh, connection broker and RD web access server so this is my connection broker uh, uh, the second server which we have third server Win2K19 SH01 which is our session host server and the IP address of this server is 192.168.0.203 so this is also joined in my domain so here we go so you can see a remote desktop services installed on this machine and if I go to local server Win2K19 SH01 and if I go to manage remove add and roll and features so if you go here under the remote desktop services you will see remote desktop session host role is installed on this machine so also you can verify from the connection broker if you go to remote desktop services you will see here RDS connection uh, RDS session host role is installed on such SH01 so this is our so this is our three servers which we are using in this demo and we have two thin client machines also which is running Windows 10 so you can see uh, CL01 and CL02 is going to be our thin client machine and you can see I have logged this is Win 10 CL01 and this is Win 10 CL02 so if I go here you can see both the machine is joined in my domain victimforsoul.local and I have logged in with the my domain account which is who am I so you can see this user is a domain user and same we can go ahead and check with the here who am I so you, you will see these two accounts are domain account which is user 01 and 02 so now let's start and map the enable the user profile disk on uh, 
uh, our RDS farm which is there so if you go to connection broker and remote desktop services and select your collections you will uh, go to edit properties you will see on the bottom you have user profile desk so you can see user profile desk enable users to store setting and folder in a central location so this can be enabled and profile desk in a collection so server collection must be full control so you have to make sure on the share where you are going to share the uh, save the profile desk the server is going to have a full control and full uh, full rights basically so I'm going to do it so so we have to create one share folder so if I go to on my com my com this computer to RDS you will see I'm going to map one disk here dedicated for profile disk so you can see I'm going to change the CD drive to Z I'm going to bring this disk online and I'm going to initialize disk GPT and I'm going to create a new volume call it like RDS disk so this is going to be mount in my com my this computer as a RDS disk as a D drive so I'm going to create one folder here called RDS hyphen profile hyphen disk and I'm going to share this folder and go to properties and from the sharing I'm going on click on advanced sharing and I'm going to share this folder and from the permission I'm going to add my session host server which is SH01 uh, as a admin full administrative rights full rights so this is basically a share permission so when 2k19 SH01 I'm going to search and I'm going to give it the full control from the sh for the share permissions and the same thing I'm going to do for the NTFS which is security permission so edit and I'm going to select my computers from here and type this over Win2K19 SH01 I'm going to give it to full control for the NTFS permissions as well so this is done and now if I go here and browse the share folder on Win2K19 RDS you will see here user profile disk folder is created so I'm going to copy this path and here enable user profile disk and apply and you can set the size so I'm going to give 10 gig size here so you can also limit what user can save like store all user setting and data to profile disk and if you want to like uh, uh, profile path and folder path you can define and if you want to restrict users to save like few settings like a roaming profile data my pictures whatever you don't want to save you can mark it so I'm going to uh, select the default option which is a store all user setting data settings data for a user on the user profile disk and I'm going to click apply now so it's going to apply and it's going to map it to the create one folder so now if you go here uh, you will see one template folder is going to be created here so you can see user VHD template is created and now this is good and we can go ahead and apply and now whenever user is going to ma uh, going to log into any server uh, your session host infrastructure first time on this collection they are going to get uh, one brand new drive going to be copied from this disk and they are going to uh, uh, that disk is going to map with the, that user so let's try now and I'm going to log into this prod infrastructure so I'm going here and doing MSTSC so I have um, DNS entry created with my session host server so I'm going to type uh, VRDS and going to logged in so now you can say it's going to SH01 so this is good so you can see this is going to take the first time it's going to take some time because it's going to uh, map the user profile desk and going to create the uh, your profile on that user profile desk so you can see now we have logged in and if you go to here this computer and if you go to users you will see here the user profile disk uh, got as a f as a drive here you can see basically a, a small hard drive uh, thing here which is going to be give you size 
uh, around 10 gig because we have enabled 10 gig file uh, limit here in user profile disk so now this is good and I'm going to see the D drive of this machine where we have saved so you can see the one drive uh, one file is also created and uh, for 200 MB this VHD file is basically going uh, is for VHDX file is for this user profile which user 01 and now try let's try the same thing for another user so I'm going to do MSTSC my session host uh, collection and I'm going to type my user ID credential here for user 02 and it's going to session host 1 so this is good and now it's going to create one profile for this user as well so now if you go here you can see the profile is available for user 02 also but you will not get access to this so if I go now on from user 02 you will see user 02 is here and you can get in and you can get their data as well so this is you know, user profile disk is mapped for user 02 and for here user 01 as well so this is good and if you go back to RDS server you will get both the profile disk is created for uh, both the users user 01 and user 02 and it's mapped with the unique ID which is SID for the user so this is good so this is all about how you can enable the profile disk with remote desktop services and Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always go and post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.